another let me cash you up reading okay so i hope everybody's getting a wonderful start off to their week okay we just had that new moon in aries this weekend okay the energy is fresh the energy is new okay i hope everybody is feeling energized and prepared for spring and ready for takeoff okay so of course we have our three pals this week pal number one with the yellow highlighter pal number two with the pink and pal number three with the orange so of course you want to close your eyes for a couple of seconds and meditate over the energy of the piles and you want to choose the pile or the piles if it is more than one that calls out to you using your intuition we're about to see what gas do y'all need this week okay let's find out hey pound number one if you chose the yellow highlighter this week welcome to your reading let's get into it y'all already know it's not a gas me up reader without the gas me up songs and of course if you have any suggestions for anything i should go on the gas me up the playlist don't hesitate to drop it in the comment sections below but of course you know these five songs could be a sign for you could be a specific synchronicity or confirmation okay so we're about to see what is coming out for my pal number one this week we get needed me by rihanna all snap <laughs> here we go we get congratulations by drake no role models by j cole sorvo by g herbo and we get bam by jay-z okay Y'all know what I'm hearing. Y'all know that um, ludicrous song. He be like, move, bitch, get out the way. I'm hearing that song. <laughs> so a lot of y'all are either like moving past something or y'all want somebody to move out your way. Okay, I'm hearing, please move. Like, it's done. It's over with. Okay, this could be, you know, something pertaining to maybe a lover, a friend. I'm just hearing like you done with somebody's crap. You just like done. And it's like, this could have been a connection where they benefited off of you more than them. That's why the universe is saying congratulations on releasing this person. Or maybe you already release this person but you're finally releasing the weight of the situation i feel like this pal you are you know there was a specific relationship in your life that you know you're just coming to terms with like it can't get to you anymore so let's get into it we get in sagittarius okay y'all know so some of y'all could be sagittarius or have that energy in your chart but this is all about you know your philosophy okay this is all about your wisdom again i was feeling like y'all why y'all wisened up is that a word wisened up that's not no damn word oh my god y'all smartened up <laughs> y'all got wiser y'all grew stronger okay i feel like y'all may have changed not necessarily like change your values but realize your values okay so maybe you weren't completely aligned in you know the ways that you feel like you should have been and you're finally getting a better understanding of what it's going to take to really align with your soul and your path okay i'm just feeling like your whole philosophy about life is changing or is about to change like it's a new set of beliefs and values being instilled within you okay y'all are about to start moving different that's why i heard move bitch get out the way <laughs> so maybe like the people that were around you it's like they really can't come where you're going because they fit the old you and this new person this new philosophy they may not necessarily you know fit into okay maybe some of the people that you used to hang with are starting to like look at you weird or different because you're believing in different things but you're just growing okay and that's what happens like you grow and like some people around you stay the same you can't necessarily stay around those people because you're gonna stay the same you know how they say we're like um the five people we hang around the most it's like i really feel like y'all are breaking free y'all are setting y'all sights okay y'all are you know wanting more from life get it out to the world and yeah i'm just feeling like y'all are wanting more from life so y'all are having to break free from people that are stagnant okay we have activated earth power places ley lines trust where you're led yeah y'all are being led on a higher path okay i'm seeing like a split it's like you know more people are going this way but you're choosing the route that goes that way okay and again you're going to places of power you have to trust where you're going you have to know that you're not always going to be comfortable 
okay it's not always going to be the easiest thing to do but would you rather align with your values and you know get a better philosophy on life and you know live by your true values or would you rather stay the same would you rather be in company of people that aren't truly good for you because if they don't support your highest version are they really good for you are you really meant to be in their company you know we have the temple path oh my god yes pile number one pile number one y'all are choosing a different path the universe is saying congratulations and bam because it's like y'all have finally woken up to the fact that you have a specific route to go and you need to follow your destiny you need to follow your instincts and go for it okay spirit tell me about this path the temple path we have the Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, I'm sorry. <laughs> and we had the Three of Cups on the bottom. So yeah, y'all, this could be with specific friends or even a lover. But I'm feeling like, too, somebody here, it's like once you break free from a group of friends, that's when this lover that you've been trying to manifest is going to come in. So some of y'all could have some fake, fan fake friends around you, or you did, and you were trying to manifest love. And the reason why love was not coming in was because these people's energy was around you, and it could have potentially messed up your connection. Okay? So... Just know as you change your values, you are also aligning with the values of somebody that you're meant to be with, okay? Whether it be for a season or for a lifetime. We had two of swords coming out in reverse, yeah. I feel like you guys are more confident now because you're coming out of this confusion. Okay, my pal, pal number one, you are finally coming out of confusion. You're finally coming out the fog, okay? I'm hearing airing it out. I'm seeing like a room. And it's like, and I'm hearing Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys, okay? It's like you were like in a room and like something was like on fire, but you couldn't necessarily see what it was. And the room had filled up with like so much smoke. And it's like now that you're finally like you opened the window and you got out, now you can finally see. Now you can finally breathe again, okay? So these people could have been suffocating you, keeping you hostage in a way. Yeah, the sun. What I say? It, the uh, I'm hearing... I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Y'all know I can't sing, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> but the sun here is like, the sun is coming out. Like you can finally see past all the muck. Okay, I'm hearing ego. Some of y'all are finally seeing past your ego and you're finally looking more into your soul, more into who you truly are. All right, some of y'all could have been taking like spiritual baths or you're being called to like get in the spiritual bath or you're being called to like get near a body of water. Okay, to cleanse yourself. I'm hearing cleansing. And you know, when we're out in the sun, that does wonders for our vibration. You know, what do they say? Don't the sun give us like vitamin D or something? It's like the sun is like really good. So y'all make sure y'all getting out in nature. Okay. I'm hearing video games. And like, so maybe like y'all were like within a group of people and like they just kind of stayed inside and played video games all day. And it's like you kind of drifted off on your own path. You start going outside. You start getting away from technology. And that's how you guys became kind of different or kind of separated. Either way, you guys are realizing some truths. Okay, we have base chakra coming out here. Yeah, I feel like you guys are wanting more stability. You guys are wanting to be more secure in yourself. That's what it is. I'm hearing enlightenment. You guys are wanting to go down the path of enlightenment. And maybe this old group or these this old way of being kind of, again, held you stagnant. Okay, you were in like a room with fog. You, were, I'm hearing illusions, Neptune energy. So we could have some Pisces in the building. Okay, and of course Leo here with the sun. I'm hearing Libra as well, and Aries. But it's like y'all are looking to be more secure within yourselves. Okay, and that's what you're realizing. We have luck is on your side. New moon and Sagittarius. Yeah, y'all must know that luck is on your side. You know, you are, oh, Sagittarius again, y'all. Heavy Sagittarius energy in this pile, okay? Um, this could have even been something that started around Sagittarius time, or Sagittarius season, I'm sorry. Or this could be a group, the people that were in a group you were with, it's like they had Sagittarius energy, okay? Um, but I just feel like with this luck is on your side, new moon and Sagittarius under base chakra, it's like, I just feel like y'all have set y'all sights on how you want it to be, your way of being. And certain things just don't resonate with you anymore, okay? And although people around you might be looking at you like you're crazy, the universe is actually smiling down on you because you're finally going down that individual path, okay? I'm hearing the road less travel. Look, the look at the bigger picture. You got Sagittarius energy again. Now you got the full moon in Sagittarius. Oh, my God. Okay. I 
see y'all for out number one. Again, this is all about your ideals, y'all laws, y'all philosophies, okay? Y'all are under, I feel like y'all are understanding life more, okay? I'm hearing the more I learn, the more I realize I don't know. So y'all could be on a, a search or a path to seeking knowledge, seeking this inner wisdom. Okay, some of y'all really been really into spiritualism. Okay, y'all could be looking at different videos on YouTube or reading spiritual books or doing whatever it takes. I'm feeling like this isn't more so to do with, deal with like your career. This is more so to deal with like your soul. Okay, this is like soul stuff. You're going down your path. You're figuring out who you truly are or who you want to be. You know, who you are at your core. I'm really feeling like y'all are getting past like the ego, if that makes sense. We have will. And Spirit is saying this is okay. Of course, everything is free will, and that's why they're so proud of you because you're taking the initiative to do this. Because it's so much easier to stay in old patterns, it's so much easier to do the things that we've been used to. But again, you guys are choosing to do what's hard, you're choosing to do what's best for you, and that is just beautiful, y'all. That is a true sign of self love when you can sit up here and do things that are hard just to make yourself better. for you know your highest version y'all that is really special so y'all should definitely be proud of yourselves for real we have fruition here so yeah there is a path i'm seeing like a doorway opening up something that's coming into fruition something you've been wanting and i feel like it's something you've been craving actually which is yourself your soul i'm just really feeling like my pound of one y'all about to be getting to the bottom of things spirit fruition what's coming into fruition this could even be like a project or this could be like some inner child healing that you have been working on finally coming look four pinnacles it's, it's something here too y'all have been holding yourselves back okay i'm even hearing bully so some of y'all could have even been bullied in the past or you were bullied in your childhood into not doing something that you really really wanted to do or maybe people call something that you wanted to do stupid and you're healing that wound you're finally being okay with people not agreeing with everything that you do okay you're looking at the bigger picture i feel like my kind of one y'all are done holding yourselves back okay look the sun coming out again Y'all are done holding yourselves back. And look, a child. Yeah, y'all, this is definitely, y'all have y'all have overcome a lesson from childhood. A lesson where you were afraid to be yourself because of what other people would think or say or do. Okay, y'all are no longer bound by other people's opinions. We have dietary change, okay? Improve your diet and your life will also improve. So, y'all, make sure y'all eating green things, okay? Make sure y'all are really taking care of y'all body and being mindful of what you put in your body, okay? I'm hearing, like, smoothies and look. Look, she got all this fruit in her head. Y'all, so y'all could be going through some potential crown chakra act crown chakra activations, okay? And really working like on your mind and spirit is saying make sure you're feeding your body the right food because that feeds your mind, okay? And this could also be um what you you know, the content you consume. Again, I feel like some of y'all have been watching more spiritual spiritually related things or y'all have been more into, you know, maybe reading books or however it is you taking your spirituality podcast, whatever it is, um, readings, whatever it is, y'all, y'all have just been going more deeper within. Like y'all are really being mindful of what y'all are feeding y'all mind, okay? The content you're consuming. And again, it's a that is great, okay? You know, we are you know how to say you are what you eat, okay? <laughs> and you also are what you listen to okay you know the music you listen to can you know that could change your thought patterns okay that could make you think of certain things that you wouldn't have if you weren't listening to the music so make sure y'all are staying on track and y'all are only feeding y'all minds what you want to see okay what you want to see grow outside of you look we have children again your connection with children is part of your life's purpose again y'all i'm really feeling like y'all are fully stepping into y'all life's purpose and again if somebody here oh my god Y'all keep burping my throat chakra going crazy. Y'all are finally speaking up. I feel like somebody here could have been bullied into silence when they were younger. And now it's like you really just do not give a fuck because you understand your path. You understand why you went through those things. You understand your strength and your power now and your will to move forward now. Y'all y'all know this, the energy is giving me. Y'all know how like, <laughs> like the popular kids in like high school or even college like... They're kind of just popular in, like, those 
in high school or college and like when you get out into the real world it's the people that they kind of look down on that are actually succeeding and doing well like that's the energy i'm getting here like they really try to play you and they really try to make you feel less than out of their own insecurities but y'all don't even got nothing to worry about now because things are about to start coming into fruition for you okay and y'all have something that y'all are passionate about so just go for it okay do not mind what other people say you have to focus on your own path okay so that's all i'm getting for you pal number one if you enjoyed this read don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will talk to you guys later peace hey pound number two if you chose the pink highlighter welcome to your reading like y'all like this whole time like when i've been setting up this pal I, I kept hearing on wednesdays we wear pink okay so somebody here could have just recently watched mean girls okay or you it's wednesday okay or you could be wearing pink right now but i'm just really like picking up like on mean girls vibes or maybe y'all Maybe that's a clue. Maybe some of y'all been dealing with some mean girls. Maybe y'all had a group of, of, you know, mean girl friends. Or y'all coming out of that, okay? Oh, my God, I'm a two. Oh, that's the sound. I feel like some of y'all may have some haters, okay? Some of y'all may have some people out there mad because I'm hearing that. Like, and I'm hearing, um, that's so fetch. <laughs> y'all yeah, definitely, like, some of y'all could really like, like the uh, movie Mean Girls, okay? But let's get into it. Y'all already know it's not a gas me up reading without the gas me up song. So, oh my God, y'all keep hearing all these quotes. I'm hearing, um, I don't even know why. Y'all, um, when Karen, who is that? When Gretchen was like, oh my God, Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white. Like, I don't know why, like, I don't know why I'm hearing that. So, like, that can be important too. Maybe some of y'all, it could be the case where some of y'all may have been in like a friend group and people tried to like judge the way you spoke okay if y'all kind of get where i'm going with that people try to like judge the way you you know spoke or did some certain things and they try to you know basically kind of discredit who you are you know by your skin tone okay but y'all we gonna get into it of course y'all know it's not a gas me up reading without the gas me up songs so we about to get right into it and we about to see what is going on what songs are coming out keep in mind these songs are just hold important signs confirmations or synchronicities for you and of course if you have any songs that you want to be added to the gas me up d plays do not hesitate to drop it in the comment section below so let's get into it we have savage remix by megan estelle and beyonce we got I Will Bless the Lord by Byron Cage. We have You Don't Know by Kiera Sure. Okay, so some of y'all could definitely have been, you know, listening to y'all praise and worship for y'all getting more into inspiration, okay? We got Look What You've Done by Drake. And Let the World Do the Work. Okay, okay, I'm here, really hearing it, y'all. Some of y'all in this pal, like, y'all may have been listening to gospel this week, or y'all will be, okay? Or this is, you know, God coming through to let y'all know that he got you, okay? He got you, don't even sweat it, because he got you. He gonna take care of it. Like, let him do the work, because at the end of the day, if he on your side, it really don't matter what any mean girl has to say about you, and that's just facts, period, okay? So let's get into it. We got... The sun. Okay. Okay. I see y'all found number two. I feel like y'all shine brightly. That's why y'all got some haters. Okay. That's why these girls was mean to y'all. Because y'all shine brightly. Because they are jealous of your light. Okay. Y'all could be very creative. Okay. Y'all could just dress very uniquely. Okay. Or you're just like a natural born leader. It's like you follow the beat of your own drum. It's like, you know, the person that's in the group that is like they they in the group but they still kind of do their own thing like that's the vibe i'm getting and y'all getting some haters because i feel like y'all fit really trying to break free or y'all could have done this already and this is people from y'all past looking at y'all um oh i'm hearing um y'all know new body um like kanye west and nikki be like you see me shining you pissed i think my haters just really be wanting the kiss okay so like people mad that you shining okay what's up number two People from your past are like hating and mad that you're shiny, mad that you're demonstrating how it's done. Okay, now they realize who you are. These could have been people that counted you out. Okay, these could have been people that counted you out. I'm hearing Oreo, Oreos, okay? Some of y'all could like Oreos. Or somebody could have potentially called somebody an Oreo going back to that um, first part when I was saying with like the Mean Girls and like the quotes. But yeah, I'm getting that heavily. Like you, are, you're just different. You're and you don't have to try to be different. And that's why y'all are attracting these haters. 
Okay, we have the Courageous Peony. Y'all, I love peonies, y'all. Peony, you know, they represent rich, okay? They represent luxury, okay? So, a lot of y'all, y'all are that girl, okay? Or that guy, whatever you, however you subscribe, whatever you want to take it as. Look, multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I found them, too. Look, look at this. Like, going right in directly. And y'all know I don't be seeing these cards before. Ooh, this matched my nails. Ooh, y'all, this card is so pretty. So some of y'all could like the color pink, some of y'all could like the color yellow, but I just feel like y'all have just finally come out of an era where like y'all are done silencing yourself, y'all are done, you know, not fully being yourselves. Some of y'all could have even dimmed your own light just to hang out and fit in with a specific group. Y'all were like purposely not being all that you can be so that you could have like a group of friends or people to go around and that's over. The universe is saying like it's done, like you're moving up. I'm here, I'm moving on up. Like, you don't really even have time. Like, it's time to be courageous. It's time to really step into your unique nature. Before, where you could have felt that being unique kind of held you down only because what people said about you but now you're realizing like you're different for a reason and people only try to talk about you and count you out because you're different because you're so unique because you have your own mind and with your own mind comes power okay because you didn't follow the crowd oh i'm loving this energy pile number two congratulations for finally stepping into this energy because this is where you were supposed to be the whole time no more dimming your light for goofies okay we don't, we don't even do that no more we don't have time so we get to third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. Oh my God, y'all. The confidence. Y'all are exuding confidence right now. Okay, things. I'm here and turning over a new leaf. Okay, my pattern number two. Y'all, the confidence is about to go crazy. Like people like from your past are looking at you and they're not even recognizing this person. I feel like y'all are just a whole completely different person. Y'all have bloomed into, into something completely different. And y'all can see this lady here, she kind of got her eyes closed. She's not even looking at nobody. But it's like all you see is the beauty around her. It's like her beauty is radiating from the inside. We have door to value. Okay, let me find out pound number two. Let me find out y'all about to get this money. Y'all about to get this money, honey. Pound two, the more unique you are, the more you step into your own divine light, the more abundance you attract. As I open the deck. Strength, confidence, Leo energy, nine of pentacles, abundance. Y'all, all you got to do is have this confidence. Third chakra too. So y'all could be going through some solar plexus chakra activations. Okay, y'all could have just been working on your solar plexus recently. Or your solar plexus is being healed. I feel like these mean girls could have potentially um um, attack your solar plexus in a way and y'all know you know even words are spells in a way people can attack your solar plexus and your confidence just by speaking negatively to you just by speaking negatively on your name and now you're rising above it oh my god my pal number two if some of y'all been having stomach issues know that it's coming to an end as i'm shuffling the card we have justice and we have the moon so this could have been a libra or it could have been a cancer or a pisces there's justice coming out there's some things coming um coming coming out okay some secrets some stuff that was going on behind the scene and whether you see it or not this could have even been people lying on your name this could have been people lying on your name behind the scenes or getting people to see you in a different way, putting up illusions. There's justice coming out. So if y'all were dealing with a mean girl group, you're about to get this new beginning right here. And these people are about to get karma. Ooh, Spirit, what's the karma? Let me be nosy. What's the karma? Spirit, what's these people's karma? We got a Queen of Wands. So this could even be a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. But I feel like the karma is you're in your power. The karma is they don't get to be connected to you anymore. Okay? Some people's karma, yeah, I do feel like they're going to get their own karma. But a lot of people's karma be the fact that you're no longer in their life. Okay? Ooh, my pal number two. Y'all, y'all real spicy. I love it. Keep working hard on yourself. Y'all are really getting up there. Y'all confidence is booming. Y'all are shining so brightly. Okay? Solar plexus on 10. We got movement choices and decisions. All because you decided. You finally decided. You made a choice okay you made a choice and now you moving forward with it okay nobody can stop you i'm here ain't no stopping this now yes pal number two. Oh my god i'm getting butterflies and stuff i'm just really happy for y'all because i feel like these y'all know 
Ooh, girl groups can be really, really, really harsh. And they could really, really try to get under your skin out of jealousy. So I'm just already knowing, like, how free you feel, how liberated you feel to not even be dealing with this mess. And I'm even hearing a part of that karma is some people in that group is about to turn on each other. Y'all know how at the end of Mean Girls, like, none of them were even in the group anymore. They all went off and did their own separate things. Like, the whole group broke up. So, y'all, y'all could have been the light that was keeping the group together. Maybe these people could have even been by bonded by their jealousy of you or a specific thing and y'all know those friendships never ever turn out right because they're not even built on the right thing so if you chose this pal and y'all were dealing with mean girls either they are breaking up as friends and they're not even friends no more they're not cool no more and that's why you're being free because they no longer have the room or space to talk about you anymore or this is about to happen you chose this pal the people that you were in a group with they're no longer even cool no more like, they wasted their time. Look, don't let your past hold you back. My pal, too, look. I just want to let y'all know I'm rooting for y'all. Like, point blank, period. Because I'm just loving y'all energy. And I'm just, I just really feel like y'all are just feeling like y'all have come so far. I'm, like, really feeling like this is a long time coming. Like, these people could have literally held you back for years. Okay, this could even be multiple friend groups. Okay, but y'all are really just settling into your uniqueness maybe y'all were trying to find your group maybe y'all were trying to find where you fit in and you just realize now it's like i don't fit in because i'm not supposed to because i'm supposed to rock with myself because i'm supposed to do what i'm supposed to do i'm supposed to follow my own path okay expect powerful change yeah y'all everything is changing everything is changing power number two I said I would keep these readings under 10 minutes, but pile number two, y'all, it clearly exceeded that because there's just so much here. There's so much energy here. You're so strong. You're so much powerful. And I don't even feel like you noticed it. Like you may see some, you know, parts here and there, but like you're literally freaking shining. I keep hearing Nikki, you see me shining, you pissed, okay? People are pissed at you for being different, for breaking free, okay? These could have been people that tried to control you as well. Oh my God, look, the void. Yep, y'all got out of this energy. Y'all made the decision to move forward out this energy. I feel like y'all were feeling in the void again because y'all were trying to identify with groups that were truly not meant for you. Okay, and now this is how these people feeling. Okay, just sad and sorry because they tried to bring a person down and all their efforts basically went to waste because you shining, okay? And now they piss, okay? <laughs> yes, pal number two. We got sovereignty. This is coming out in reverse, but I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like that's the energy that you were in. And as soon as this flips around, that's when you're about to fully get this value that you have been waiting for. Y'all, sovereignty, queen of the moon. This is really, really powerful. Y'all are about to truly understand something that's coming to a completion. Y'all are about to truly understand how much powerful you have been and where it is that you're going. Okay? Y'all, why am I seeing... Some of y'all could like Harry Potter, but I'm seeing like Harry Potter, like the first movie. Okay? It's like, you know how Harry Potter was different and he didn't even know how different he was. He didn't even know how powerful he was. He didn't even know his freaking history until he learned that shit and just was the GOAT. Okay? We got holiday. Okay? The answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, retreat, or holiday getaway. So, some of y'all could be going on a vacation soon. Okay? Whether you are planning this or whether this is something that's going to be unexpected. I'm hearing this could even be unexpected. But so an answer to your prayers is going to be coming to you around a holiday what's the next holiday y'all um well, we got Cinco de mayo um we got memorial day i guess memorial day is like the the biggest one the, the bigger one i guess i don't know but maybe y'all the end of may could be important to y'all it's a holiday or this could be somebody's birthday we have the birth of a child bring great blessings to you in the world yeah the holiday could be your birthday if your birthday is coming up soon okay so just know, y'all, things are coming in. I feel like this pregnancy is a rebirth, okay? It could be a rebirth or this could be somebody's birthday, okay? 37, 31, 2, 1, 41 could be important. Spirit, what's going on? What's Can I get some inner messages for my pal number two, which y'all fan is? Um, we have four of swords here. Y'all, don't stress about money. Stop stressing about money. The more you stress about money, the more you're going to create the experience that you should be stressed about money. You should not be stressed about money. It's coming. Okay? We have the hermit here. 
we have the strength but y'all have to go through this y'all were going through this spiritual awakening first until you gain the strength to get past these swords that were put in your back y'all things are changing but stop stop worrying we got the king of cups here and death and if some of y'all just recently ended a situation with a water sign, I'm hearing Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio, definitely with the deaths here. Some of y'all just ended a situation with a water sign. They watching you, okay? They watching you on social media, okay? And they shoot, they mad too. Look, they over it. This person got an attitude, child. What child? <laughs> oh my God, foul too. Y'all got really got people mad. Y'all got really, y'all really got people shaking, like... They they pissed. Okay. So that's what I'm getting for you, pal number two. If you enjoyed this read, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Hey, pal number three. If you chose this orange highlighter, welcome to your reading. Y'all know what I am tasting. I'm tasting a sandwich, okay? Like a sub, like Jimmy John Subway type. Like I want a sandwich so bad right now, okay? <laughs> so some of y'all could have just ate a sandwich or you've been craving a sandwich and I'm picking up on y'all energy, but I'm hearing like sandwich. Ooh, and some chips. Ooh, like some Lay's chips with some munchos or like some in a, oh my God, a Sprite, a good nice spritz. It would be delicious. Ooh. So some of y'all could even just have a deli sandwich. Oh my God, why am I salivating right now? Let's get into the reading because, child, I just got hungry. Okay. <laughs> I'm here American Swiss. Like, mm. okay, let's get into it. So y'all already know it's not a guessing up reading without a guessing of song. So we're going to be seeing what five songs come out for y'all this week. So just keep in mind these songs to be, you know, important signs, synchronicities, confirmations, songs that you've been hearing, songs that you like. And of course, if you have any suggestions on songs you would like to add to the Gas Me Up D playlist, don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section below. But we're about to get right into it. What five songs are coming out for Power Number 3 this week? We got I Will Bless the Lord by Byron Cage. Y'all, Power Number 2 got that song as well. We got Everything by G Herbo and Chance the Rapper and Lil Uzi. We got Macaroni Time by Chief Keef. Y'all been praying for some money. We got Sorrow by G Herbo. Y'all, y'all been a lot of the same times, songs as Power Number Two. So Power Number Two could definitely resonate. So check that out if you feel called. I feel like these powers might be connected or this power could be a continuation of Power Two. And we got Shining Star by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Okay, some of y'all be listening to that old school. I feel it. I listen to old school too, and that's my jam. But let's get into it, y'all. Let's get into it. We have Uranus. Okay. Y'all know Uranus is all about change. It's all about innovation. It's about technology. It rules Aquarius. Okay, so y'all, either y'all are inventing something new. This could even be a new way of being, thinking. Okay, y'all looking at something a different way. Or something that's going to change very unexpectedly. So Spirit is wanting you to stay open. Okay, I almost just want to clarify this. Like, Spirit, what's going on? What's changing? What's changing for my power number three? Y'all, y'all definitely could resonate with pal number two. So check that out if you feel called. Your intuition is telling you about a specific group. Y'all know Aquarius rules friendships as well too, right? So yeah, this is about friends, old friends. Y'all are feel like y'all are attracting new friends. Okay? Especially if people have left y'all in the cold or y'all feel like y'all have to put y'all guard up against people. What's changing is the people around you. What's changing is your connections. Okay, and you intuitively know this, you feel this, and you intuitively know who you need to draw your energy back from and who you need to go towards. Y'all go towards the people that make you feel good, that make you feel your best, that support you. Okay, leave these dusties that be talking about y'all behind y'all back and not supporting y'all. Like, leave their ass in the past because that's where they belong. Okay, their ass is grass. I'm hearing. <laughs> They add some grass. <laughs> so y'all just, you know, you, you try your best to gravitate towards people that truly have your best interests at heart. Because a fake friend not going to do nothing but try to sabotage you and try to get in your way and try to mess up what you got going on. And that's just facts. Look, we have the seeds of Mentaka. Seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to, unconsciousness to light. Okay? Y'all have to really, I feel like y'all intuition has been trying to tell y'all about something. Either about a specific person or a group or just something that you need to change and spirit is wanting you to see the potential in this change that you need to make and make it okay something is coming up from your subconscious i'm hearing warning and i'm hearing like an alarm 
okay somebody also i'm hearing to change the battery in your fire detector especially if that shit been beeping and you just been letting it beep okay change that okay <laughs> but y'all something y'all need to pay attention to the signs pay attention to how y'all feel when y'all around certain people okay we have contract yeah i feel like a contract is coming to an end and new contracts are beginning soul contracts so y'all i feel like y'all could unexpectedly like run into new relationships new connections spirit tell me about this contract what i say five of wands y'all it's people it's somebody people in your life or y'all are getting away from this with this seven of swords here that were kind of sneaking behind your back doing stuff creating little things behind the scenes creating a conflict just stirring up a bunch of shit y'all stay away from people that just be starting stuff for no reason y'all some people be out here living for drama they live for negativity that's what they feed off of spirit is saying walk away stop entertaining people okay stop putting your energy into people that feed off your negative emotions okay because somebody here could be talking behind your back or creating conflict behind your back okay and trust this person about to get their karma okay this person is about to run into something these people could be about to run into a group that's gonna do them the same if they try to do you we have come look y'all go check out pile number two if you chose this pal i'm pretty sure this is like a continuation of pile number two y'all it's about to be an unexpected change within the friend group within a friend group or within a community of people and i feel like as you move out of this one friend group you're about to go into one that actually is for you okay and this on this uh, this doesn't necessarily even have to be a friend group that you're going into okay it could just be you meeting multiple different you know connections y'all take it how it resonates but your contract is up within a community okay and i'm really feeling like spirit had to get you away from these people before they delivered them their karma these people was doing dirt behind y'all back somebody here got done dirty and you probably don't even know it yet okay and i maybe you're not even gonna know it or find out because it's not for you to know it's for you to continue on your path but y'all somebody your luck is changing for the better and these people who probably tried to bring you down they are about to face their karma there's some contracts there's some balance and other skills look what did i tell y'all moving on yeah spirit had it's like they have to get you out the way first some people could even be about to get in trouble with the law. Somebody could even be about to go to court or go to jail with this contract here. But yeah, I definitely feel like y'all y'all moved y'all still y'all exited, okay? Y'all y'all left something behind. Y'all left this friend group behind. I'm hearing, you know, just like a click. This was like a click or they thought they was a click. Or they wanted to be a click. And maybe they clicked up on you after you changed. But yeah, something, y'all. Something is happening. And they did something behind y'all back. But look, prosperity lies ahead. New moon tours. Y'all are walking into prosperity. It's like, y'all might not even see this karma. Y'all probably didn't even see all the stuff that they did behind your back. Okay? But it's like... Y'all, it's none of y'all business. Y'all keep walking. Y'all keep going forward. And don't be wishing karma on nobody. I know it's kind of hard, but, you know, <laughs> just let people, you know, be them. Let people do what they're going to do because the universe is about to take care of it. Y'all, I'm really, I, I'm getting this feeling in my stomach. These could be water signs even, too, because I'm looking at this water. And y'all could be like this earth energy. Y'all could be more grounded. And I'm hearing wishy-washy. So these people are wishy-washy. Y'all, somebody here about to face some karma. Look, take time to breathe out. Y'all, take a deep breath and walk forward and keep your head up because you don't even want nothing to do with anything that's about to happen with these people. I'm really feeling it, and I'm feeling my heart chakra. I'm getting like, like a sharp pain. Ooh, child. I wouldn't want to be these people. Somebody really tried to do y'all dirty, I feel like. Or maybe somebody tried to talk about y'all or somebody tried to get a community to see y'all a specific way. And y'all just being called to leave it behind, leave it to rest. Yeah, move on to your blossoming, okay? Don't even worry about this. Move on to blossom. Move on to develop what it is you came here to do, okay? With this flower moon here. Y'all, as the flowers bloom, so do you, okay? You are blooming with this spring energy, 
okay so you move forward into the light keep going do not look back i'm telling you if you chose this pal do not look back do not go back to this group of people or these friends or this clique they mean you know well and they i mean i'm about to bust this up <laughs> They about to get their whole spot busted up because of they messing with you. So y'all could have moved on. Y'all could have left these people behind, right? And then when y'all did that, they tried to go around doing a whole bunch of sneaky stuff. And now that's finally about to catch up with them. It's like as you walk into this prosperity, this contract is about to be balancing out. We have realization. Yeah, y'all realize something. Y'all realize with this keyhole here, y'all realize that they were holding you back. The missing key was actually leaving them behind okay that's what opened the door for you okay i'm hearing turn on the lights by future it's like you finally turn on the light you finally went towards the light we have a business venture and so some of y'all this could be y'all starting a new business okay maybe y'all had to leave behind a certain group of people maybe they didn't believe in your business or maybe they just weren't weren't fit to be in your life when you started this business so spirit is saying you know that's in your soul contract to have this business to go towards this venture that you're wanting to do so that's what you got to do like that is the key that is the key to this you know wealth that you're wanting okay trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity some of y'all about to get a new business opportunity because you left behind this this clip okay some of y'all this could even be within like fashion or this could be like you know anything related to that beauty i'm hearing maybe some of y'all these people was jealous of your beauty okay i'm getting taurus and libra energy for sure aquarius energy taurus energy libra energy we got walk away in reverse leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result i just talked about opening the doors y'all some of y'all do not want to walk away from this but you have to you have to walk away in order to fully get your blessings the universe will hold up your blessings if it's people in your life that should not be enjoying them with you okay so if this is you and you know you around some people that do not deserve your time or your energy just for the sake of having some friends leave them behind okay some people literally just befriend you to try to mess you up some people befriend you to try to destroy you and try to you know talk bad on your name and try to be a step ahead of you well it didn't work okay that's why you about to get this coin. Look, walk away in reverse here. Why walk away in reverse here? Six of swords. We see this person sailing away. See this person sailing away. We got the fool here too, y'all. It's time to walk away from these people. Point blank, period. Anybody, y'all, and I don't even got to explain who it is. Y'all already know who this is. But I'll get some archetype cards just in case, y'all. But y'all already know. Y'all been getting the signs. Y'all, if y'all stay around this group of people, you're going to continue to be in the same position. You're going to continue to have your energy taken from you. Because that's, you know, I'm hearing succubus. Some people just drain you. If you truly want to step into who you are and step into your authenticity and get these blessings, you're going to have to do it alone. Okay? Or at least wait until other people coming to your life that i meant to be there we got artists the shadow attribute okay i feel like this is because they were jealous of your creativity y'all y'all could be really creative y'all could really be passionate and creative and these people are jealous of that so they could be subconsciously like blocking your creativity or making you not believe in yourself with their energy y'all people's energy can really you know just can really do a number on you if you aren't careful if you aren't protecting yourself especially if you aren't if you believe some people are your friend but they really aren't and they're working against you behind the scenes which i feel like that's what's going on here look teacher ability to communicate knowledge experience skill or wisdom these people are jealous of your creativity and your wisdom okay and like again with this don juan card your sexiness your beauty your looks so my pal number three that's what i'm getting for y'all okay Make sure y'all do what's best for y'all, okay? So, that's what I'm getting again. And I will talk to y'all later. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the reading. And peace.